What is up, Hedgehog Maniacs? Sonic17 here. Once again, I am back with another Doki Doki Literature Club fan mod. The one I'm about to do this time is called True Literature Club. I found out on Reddit that this is supposed to have happy endings, opposed to what happens during the main game. But when I found out this, when I when I found out about this mod being posted and everything I read, the one who created the mod didn't have the option to skip to skip to where the mod actually starts. There's a new. I'm I'm currently playing the updated version. Which, which allows that. Like one of the mods I did from September to October last year called the Noah Visual Novel. But you're probably tired of me talking and wanted to get to this mod. Because without further ado, it's time to dive in and let's do it to it. This is a Doki Doki Lucha Club fan game that is not affiliated with Team Savato. It is designed to be played only after your official game has been completed. You can download Doki Doki Lucha Club at ddlc.mo. Team Sabato. This is a, this game is on official fan work, not favorite teams. Hmm. That's interesting. The logo. I mean, not this fancy about the logo, but they did add. TLC, which means True Loser Club, and he even says it right there, next to Monica. Time to do it. Let's go. Of course, time to put the name in. And as always, I can't put my full name, so Sonic X has got to be the name. Let's go. Welcome to the True Loser Club mod. The beginning of the story is the same as the original DDLC story. So I'm giving you the option of skipping that if you like. Except the Poem Media game, since that affects later events. All the new content happens at the decision point of who you spend the weekend with. Just the Poem Media game, then the mod. Here we go. I've said this many times, and I'm gonna say it again. You guys know I have favoritism at DDLC when it comes to Natsuki, so. Anybody else that's interested? Any, any hopeful stuff? Well, let, I'll shut up. Let's go. Sugar? That's Natsuki. Here? Yep, that's Natsuki. Marshmallow. Jumpy. Hop. Yep, that's Natsuki. Kitty! Papa. Pink. Vanilla. Candy? Yep, that's Natsuki again. Cute. <laughs> I'm so cute! <laughs> I'm sorry, but every time I see that, I always go for that. <laughs> but Natsuki is still cute, no matter how how many times she denies it. <laughs> anyway, Let's see. Kiss. Yep. Natsuki. Strawberry. Fun? Oh, that was Sayori. Milk. Playground? Yep, that's Natsuki again. Shopping? Yep, Natsuki again. Swimsuit. Melody? Yep, Natsuki. Sayori likes your poem. Natsuki loves your poem. Yuri dislikes your poem. Ah. Here we 
go get puppy. Heart Bay. Poop. Doki Doki. <laughs> Sayuri. Strawberry. Games? Yep, Natsuki again. Party? Nope, that was Sayuri again. Cheeks. Cute! <laughs> Again, <sighs> that just reminds me of the October events from 2019 with the red one. If you don't know what I mean, watch the three videos I did for it. What's detective time for the month of October 2019? Anyway, ribbon, Papa. That was Sayuri again. And Marshmallow. Sayuri likes your poem. Natsuki loves your poem. And Yuri dislikes it. Yuri is so upset she doesn't want to show you her poem. Whoa. Yikes. Here we go again. Boop. Valentine? Yep, that was Natsuki. Nick. Bubbles. Doki Doki! Vanilla. Lucky. Oh. Papa. And I know I saw Rose again. Pop. Skirt. Uh, puppy. Sing? Nope, that was Sayuri. Uh, party. No, oh, no, that was Sayuri again. This? Yep. Cue it again! <laughs> Home. But she seems to be upset about something and leaves the club early today. Natsuki loves your poem. And Yui doesn't want to share poems with you today. Everyone looks straight at me. Oh, that's surprising. It doesn't, sh it doesn't show Marka as a choice. That's surprising. But anyway, time for Natsuki again. <laughs> the story of Natsuki's route is the same as the original too. Hmm. I don't know. Skip to new content, please. You and Natsuki make cupcakes together, and she's ne and getting ready to leave. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much as I, as I can. It seems a bit odd to me. I 
I mean, I got the feeling that Natsuki's dad was strict, but this? It sounds like something else. Whoa. This is interesting. <clears throat> Suddenly, Natsuki gives a, gets a surprise, tense look on her face. Her eyes are still on the cupcake tray. Hey! She reaches out for the cupcake nearest her. One that I will both they are. What? Natsuki seems to realize that I don't know what she's talking about and puts the cupcake back. Wait, birthday? Is it my favorite Dogu's birthday or something? Ah, uh, never mind. It was, a, it was your suggestion, remember? You said the nozzle was, was for ha writing happy birthday or whatever. I was kind of just ri ri writing random words, to be honest. Natsuki seems mad at herself for her outburst. Natsuki! Is it your birthday today? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! She's mad. Natsuki looks irritated. No! Don't stop! It, it was like dusting! Oh, well, um. Happy belated birthday? For some reason, this seems to make her even more, make her more irritated. She says, do, she says, do, do, great, do great team. Dang! Dang! It's just an early minor that I'm still the youngest one in the room. I get the feeling that this is a sensitive subject for her. Maybe I shouldn't press her any further about it. But on the other hand, I think I'm pretty good at handling her temper by now. Does anyone else in the club know? I I just don't want anyone making a big deal about it, okay? I can just picture it. Well, I gotta say you would be on some big display of affection. And you would be doing that to hate me for the day. And we would be all to be... Be so fake, it just ah, no thanks. I just wait, why is the music stopping? I just wish my dad had forgotten that that came out of nowhere. Whoa, <sighs> it's one thing to be strict, but it's another to forget someone else's birthday. Especially as my fave, if it's just my favorite Doki we're talking about. Man. I kind of sense that underneath Natsuki's hus hostility, this is a source of some pain for her. Does he do that a lot? just been going through a rough time for a while. I mean, I'm still pretty mad at him, but... He's all... He's all that I got! So I don't hold it against him! Not really! What about your mom? She's not around anymore. For the first time, it occurs to me that Natsuki had never talked about her mother. Stammered, stammered awkwardly. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you lost her. Well, like she lost us. I had no idea what Natsuki means by that. Thanks, you used to be so much better. Why you were happy? My parents and me. I wish I knew what went wrong. We all loved each other. And then. One day she just left with some other guy. Whoa. You never saw her again. And it's like my dad's been constantly angry ever since. Every day's another stupid fight. That stuff like what I'm wearing, what friends I spend time with. I don't care. I don't. I don't dare keep my mug around the house. You'll probably think 
it's too childish or curly or whatever. Do you ask stupid questions like I'm gay or... Yeah. I'm not gay! I like boys, okay? So... Never mind! Natsuki blushes fur furiously. Anyway, it's always just some excuse to start a fight. I just try to avoid him most of the time. The larger club is a good excuse to stay out of the house. Natsuki sighs. Look at Dalcast. <sighs> anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I don't really expect you to care. I get the feeling that Natsuki doesn't usually talk about this sort of thing. Or perhaps ever. Well, the reason you're telling me is probably, is probably the most obvious. Because you want to. I mean, it sounds like you wanted to talk to someone about it for a while. I guess. I don't really have anyone to talk to about it. My dad would just say that I can't... I can't count out anymore. He likes to remind me about that a lot. And I mean, I know it's a little bull crap. I know he's just saying it because he's angry, but it's also kind of hard to ignore. Like mom and dad were so close as two people could be. And it's like no matter how loving someone is, they'll still let you down. How can I trust anyone when... Well, anyway, I guess what I was saying is it's really hard to find people to trust. So... Natsuki mumbles. Man... I never thought this would be the outcome. Thank you... For being a good listener. For an instant, it feels like Natsuki is laying her guard down and showing real vulnerability. It's only for an instant, though. So you better not let me down, Zayx, or, or I really will beat the crap out of you. Haha, <laughs> okay. I'll, I get it, I get it. I'll add that to your list of threats against me. Yeah, that's right, you better fear me. Haha, <laughs> I'll consider myself warned. And, uh, I just wanted to say, for what it's worth, I'm sorry to hear about the trouble you have with your dad. That sounds pretty frustrating to deal with. It is, but it's not so bad, really. Honestly, I can handle, I can handle when he gets like that. I mean, usually. Natsuki's confidence seems to falter. Well, oh, sorry, I don't know what. Plateau. I don't know. Anyway. It's just that sometimes he... Well, okay. This is gonna get... This is gonna... This is gonna... Kind of, this is gonna sound kind of bad. I think I know what Natsuki is trying to say. I don't know how to say it. I don't know... I don't know how to say it except to just say it. Does he... Uh... Does he beat you? Jeez, what the hell? What the hell do people think I'm being abused or something? No, my dad doesn't beat me, okay? Embarrassed, I stammer. Uh, well, you, uh... Rally my thoughts. Did you just say the other day that he'll kill you if you had if you had a guy over? Yeah, well, I didn't mean it like that. I just don't want anyone to see him on his bad days. Because on his worst days, he, he gets really sad. Like he just sort of shuts down. I can't reach him when he gets like that. It's like he lives on his own. He it's like he lives in his own head. Kind of like how he hears voices in his head. Like Randy Orton. Kind of like what Yui does. Now that I think about it, only with him, he just stops being able to function. He begins to eat. He begins to feed me. It makes it really important to catch him on good days like today. 
where I can count on him for a meal. I think, despite everything, he still misses his mom. And in some ways... Natsuki seems unable to make eye contact, but I can see tears forming in her eyes. It's worth seeing him like that than, than at any of his more angry days! This is... This is a lot more emotion than I'm used to seeing from Natsuki. I'm not sure how to respond. If he isn't feeding her, that does sound pretty bad. I hesitate put my hand on her shoulder and with in what I hope is a reassuring way. I'm mildly surprised when she doesn't resist the poor way. Whoa. Is what is that what happened on your birthday? Still avoid my gaze, Natsuki nods. Oh man. Wow. Man. That's so I did. It's kind of, it's kind of why I got into bacon. I mean, I kind of figured I should learn how to look after myself. You know, since I can't always count on him to do it. Well, you have to eat. And, uh, you know, Natsuki. You said before that he isn't abusing you. But if he isn't feeding you, isn't that kind of abuse? Isn't that kind of abuse? Suddenly, Natsuki roughly pushes my hand away. When, he's, when she speaks, there's a coldness I've never heard before. This is why I never talk about this! You think, the you think you're the first person to tell me he's abusing me? Are you gonna tell me that I should report him, huh? Well, I know. I mean, I... Natsuki's temple. This feels like something else. There was a fierceness to her. Like she would... Like she would very much like to kill anyone who defies her. I didn't expect to get her so defensive of someone that she's supposed, she supposedly mad at. What have, what have I gotten myself into? Should I drop it? I just don't know. I kind of feel like if I don't talk about it now, I'll never be able to talk about it again. In any case, I quickly glance around to make sure that not make sure that nothing she could use as a weapon before I continue. Okay, okay, we won't report him. That's fine. But what do you want to do instead? Natsuki continues glowing at me, but doesn't seem to have an answer. Anyway, you don't have to be alone in this, you know. I mean, it sounds like this has been troubling you for a while. Have you considered sharing it with your friends in the club? Natsuki makes a grumble noise, grumbling noise. They don't even, they don't ever take me seriously. They just see me as some cute little kid. I couldn't possibly tell any of them. I mean, a literature club for people who judge books by the cover. There's a word for that, right? Irony? Yeah, that one. You think, you think that at least Yuri would be able to see the irony in that? Freaking stuck up! Natsuki grumbles some more under her breath. Well, you know, you might be surprised. There could be more sympath. They could be. They could be more sympath sympathetic than you expect if you give him a chance. Even Yuri. I mean, are you kind of judging them by the by the cover right now? Hmm. What did you know about that? Well, it's kind of the theme of, of a manga I'm reading lately, and um, I trail off. Natsuki perks up a bit when I mention manga, but somehow I still don't quite feel ready to share how, I, how into it I am. Well, anyway, even if you don't feel like turning to anyone else, i still like to help if I can. I mean, uh, if you accept my help. 
Why are you even care? Because in the past few days, you've kind of grown on to me. You've, grown, you've kind of grown on me. I mean, when I first met you, well, to be honest, I thought you were a real jerk. <sighs> but now that I know you a bit better, I know there's a lot more to you than what meets the eye. You think, you think and feel more deeply than people give you credit for. I see in your poetry, and I see it and how loyal you are to people you care about. You're not just cute, like people think you are. I mean, I am, I do think that you're cute, but... Like MC said, you're more, Natsuki is more than that. I know you got a big heart. And well, it just makes me feel bad seeing you go through such a hard time. Because you don't deserve it. Natsuki mumbles. Why do you have to make it so hard? Why do you have to make it so hard to hate you? She says it so quietly. I'm not sure if, if I heard if I heard her correctly. What was that? I said you're less of a jerk than I thought too. Oh, thanks. And I don't know what to do instead. Eh? I mean about my dad. It's kind of getting to me. Having to deal with him just puts me in a bad mood every day. I don't mean to be this angry all the time. I don't want to be like this. Could fool me. Yeah. I mean, I meant that jokingly, but that might have been the wrong time to say that. Sorry, I was kidding. No, that's fine. I'm sorry for giving you such a hard time. You're being nice to me. So you probably don't deserve it. Hey, what are friends for? Friends? Well, yeah. I mean, you look like you could really use a friend right now. Yeah, yeah, I could. Well, you're welcome to come over anytime your dad is being difficult. Or if you just need to spend, just need to spend time away from home. I'm sure you can stay here for dinner too, if you like. Really? Yeah, I'd like to help you feel more comfortable. Natsuki abruptly moves towards me. I instinctively brace myself for her, for, for her to get violent or something. But instead she gives me a big hug. Her head hits my chest almost hard enough to knock the wind out of me. Her arms wrapped around me with, su with surprising strength and I feel her small hands gripping the back of my shirt. Really hug her in return. She's so small, she almost seems to disappear into my arms. And it makes me feel like I want to protect her from, ev from everything she's going through. Well, we stand like that for a moment. The tension that was in the air a moment ago slowly dissipates. When, when we finally release each other, she looks, uh, she looks a little flushed, but a bit, lot more relaxed. Uh, Natsuki? Are you wearing a wig? I couldn't help but noticing something about her odd texture of her hair while I was holding her. Wig? What do you mean? I, well... Of course! You think my hair is naturally pink color? Don't be stupid! So much for being friendly. Okay, okay, jeez, sorry. You just caught me by surprise, that's all. Supposed to be a secret. You see, my dad. What about your dad? Never mind. So Natsuki suddenly looks very anxious. Okay, fine. I won't tell anyone. I really don't see what the big deal is, though. I mean, it's just a wig. It's. It's not just that. I. She trails off. She seems more anxious than ever. Her breathing comes in quick, shallow breaths. I have no idea why this is so upsetting to her, but I figure I should try to help her calm down. Here, let's sit down. 
I gesture towards the, the kitchen table. She wordlessly takes a seat on one of the chairs, and I join her on the other side of the table. She doesn't look any less anxious. It's about your dad, isn't it? No. Yes. Uh, kind of. It's very strange to see her like this. Her usual default reaction when she gets upset is when she gets upset is to get angry, but this is different. She actually looks scared. What do you mean? Whatever it is, you can talk to me about it. I'll stand by my promise that I won't report him, if that's what you're worried about. We can figure out what to do together. Well, some things, once you say that, they can't be upset. And I don't want anyone to find out about this. Well, I can keep a secret. I mean, I'm kind of a loner anyway. Who would I tell? Natsuki mentions a small smile at that. Yeah, I guess you're right. But you have to, but you have to promise not to tell anyone, okay? And and you that you're not gonna freak out or anything. I promise. Whatever it is, my lips are sealed. Okay, it's just I just it's hard for me. I never told anyone before. My dad, he does it. I got a feeling this is something bad. Natsuki takes a deep breath. I'm I'm a little worried about what she's about what she's gonna say. My dad doesn't know that I'm a girl. Natsuki gazes at me tensely, silently. She looks like she's waiting for my response, but I don't have a clue how to respond. He doesn't know that she's a girl. What? But he's a fa- But he's a father! That does- But well, that doesn't make any sense! Well, I kinda just promised that I would handle this calmly, so I better say something! He doesn't know your girl? Natsuki nods. Uh, how is that possible? Well, he's- He's never seen me in a skirt! And he's never seen my wig! And when I, when I only wear boy clothes when I'm at home. But you wear the skirt every day. Yeah, every day. I change my clothes on the way to school. Then I change back again on the way home. And he doesn't know about this? Natsuki nods again. Whoa. That's something I wasn't expecting. I can't imagine how someone could keep us up a secret like that. She still looks anxious, and she visibly braces herself before speaking again. Do you have any other questions? I'm still processing all of this. Uh, lots. I just don't know where to begin. You're not upset or anything, are you? No, no. I'm just confused. I mean, your dad thinks you're a boy? The concept is utterly baffling to me. Well, yeah. I mean... Yeah. Do I really have to say it? I'm trans, okay? Jeez, you can be pretty dead sometimes. Sorry, sorry. I just... I never met a trans person before. How would you know? Do you even know... Do you even know I was one? I guess I never really thought about that. So, uh, so, how long have you been doing this? Since I started high school, I kind of took advantage of a couple of, day couple of my dad's bad days. He didn't want to bother helping me buy my school uniform. He just gave me money and sent me out. So I bought two of them. One boy's uniform and one girl's uniform. He's only ever seen me in the boys' one while I'm at home. He doesn't know about the girls' one. And he was so distant, he didn't even notice that I changed my name on the school's enrollment form. 
So school doesn't know you're uh different at home? Nobody knows. Wow. My thoughts exactly. You, you better blab about it to anyone. I mean, I mean it. Okay, fine, but why? Why are you doing this, Natsuki? Well, I just, I don't know if I can explain. It's like looking in the mirror and seeing a stranger. Like the image I'm seeing doesn't match the way I feel inside. It just feels wrong on a deep level. But when I put on the wig and the, but when I put on the wig and the skirt, it feels like me. Like I'm finally the way I'm supposed to be. I know that probably, I know that probably sounds weird. Well, if that's the way you feel, then you, then you do what you have to do, right? So it's kind of, so it kind of makes sense, I guess. Have you been this way all, your whole life? Natsuki nods again. But as long as I can remember, I never fit, I never fit in with the boys at school. I always knew I was different. But it wasn't until high school that I had the chance to do something about it. Since my dad was so... Like he is. I kinda had to do things myself anyway. It helps that I'm short, but I kinda wish I wasn't so... You know. Natsuki looks embarrassed. Flat. Anyway, that's the real reason I dress so cute. I don't really want to... But it's the, I don't really want to, but it's the only way I know to make sure people know that I'm a girl. But why is it so important to keep it all this a secret? Are you kidding me? I have a hard enough time getting people to take me seriously as it is. Have you ever seen how trans people are treated in movies or TV? They're treated like a joke. That's not how I want people to see me. And besides, my dad, he... Natsuki seems to have difficulty speaking. And she takes some deep breaths to steady herself before trying again. Whoa. One time, I was in my room at home. And I was playing rivets in my hair. I just wanted to look pretty at home for once. And he walked in and saw me. I never seen him so angry. He was staring over me like an inch away. He was yelling at me, yelling nasty things. <laughs> About how he didn't want a gay boy in his house. Except he didn't say gay boy. He used a bad word. I thought he was going to hit me. He looked like he wanted to. I was scared. I was so scared. I'm still scared. That's how you reacted to ribbons. To freaking ribbons. I don't know why you doing me so me like this. I don't want to. I don't want to find out. Oh, uh, wow. That sounds pretty bad. Yeah, I guess it does. I, I didn't want to admit how bad it is. I hate having to pretend to be a boy around him. I hate when he calls me by my own, my own name. And I hate that. And I hate that I have to deal with any of this. Just because some doctor will mail on my birth certificate. Well, it's just a stupid piece of paper. I know where I am. Living as a girl in school has been the best thing I've ever done. It was scary as hell the first few days. What if anyone would notice? I can finally have people see me as I see myself. But that awesome experience always comes to an end at the end of each day. When I have to change back to my disguise I, that I wear at home. There's some irony in that I have to dress up to be myself. I joined the literature club so I can stay after school longer. I don't even really read books. But if it gives me a great place to hide out and feel safe as myself, not to mention a place to build up my manga collection where my dad won't see it. I recall how much pink is on the cover of Natsuki's collection of parfait girls. 
and I can understand why she would want to keep them hidden. So, I hope they're not weirded out by any of this, so anything? She has a look of worry mingled with hope on her face. Well, it doesn't really change anything, does it? I mean, I've only ever known you as a girl, and as far as I'm concerned, you're still a girl, so whatever. I shrug. It seems to make Natsuki relax considerably. She starts to tentatively raise her hand, and with this. With a decisive mo motion, she reaches across the table to give my hand a squeeze. Thank you. She immediately looks flustered and withdraws her hand again. I mean, it feels good to finally be able to share with someone. It's been kind of stressful keeping a secret for so, for so many months. I, I keep worried that someone's gonna find out and make fun of me or worse. So, um, thanks for being cool about it. I don't really have a, I don't I don't really have a choice. You'll beat me up you'll beat me up if I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, don't you forget it. She shows the first genuine smile I've seen on her since the hug earlier. But her smile slips away. I can't report him. No matter how scared I get. If they investigate, they might find out about me. They might tell the school. I don't know if I'll get the chance to live as a girl again. I can't go back to pretending to be a boy full time. It was hard enough the first time around. Uh, I guess it does. I guess that does make things difficult. I'm sorry, Natsuki. That sounds rough. I wish there was some easy solution. Me too. Well, at least it won't be like this forever. I mean, some. I mean, someday, hopefully, you'll be able to move out and live however you want, right? Yeah, that, that's kind of the thing that keeps me going. I'd love to have a closet full of good clothes someday. Right now, I just have this in the uniform, and I have to hide them all the time. Who knows, I might even come out to my dad someday if I'm ever distant enough to feel safe doing it. It feels so far, it feels so far away right now, but I know I'll get there someday. Well, anyway, thanks for listen. Thanks again for listening. But now I really have to go. My dad's gonna have dinner ready soon, so I don't want him wondering where I am. She stands up, and so do I. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sawyer can carry some, you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. Haha! <laughs> I wish she listened to me the way she listens to you. Once Natsuki's packed up, I walk her to the door. So, good work today. I can't wait to see everyone's reactions to the cupcakes tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that'll be awesome. And, I meant what I said earlier. Whatever you want, you can come over. We can be manga or go out somewhere. Anytime you need to get out of the house for a bit, you know? We need manga together, it'd be nice. Natsuki suddenly jabs me in the shoulder with a fist. I'm stopping here, Hedgehog Maniacs. That was something to say that. <sighs> I'm still trying to process what the hell Natsuki was saying about this whole transgender thing. That still has me completely in a loop. But this mod might be interesting to say the least. Sonic X17 is signing out. Catch you guys next time.